So I'm going to try to make it a bit clearer how the peering works. So here I have uh, my desktop. It's running Raring, the Ubuntu development version. And I've already been using Novica and Demedia on the system, so Demedia is already running in the background. Because after you set it up, it will automatically start um, 45 seconds after you log in. And here in VirtualBox, I have uh, Ubuntu Precise. And I just installed Novica on this VM, but I haven't yet run it. So when you run Novica or Demedia for the first time, um, you go through this Demedia setup dialog. And if this is the first device you've used it on, you'd click New Account, and that's, that's all you do. And if you want to peer to your existing devices, you click this Connect to device, Devices. Now, hopefully this will be fairly clear which, what's going on on which screen. But So over here on my workstation, you can see I have this peering notice offered. Move this a little bit so I can see. So then over here, it prompts me for the code. And this isn't a password, it's just a one-time um, uh, code for doing the peering. Disappears on the workstation. There's this little welcome. And now what's happening is in the background, um, the two libraries are being synced. So it's syncing all my Dmedia libraries and my Novica edits. And you'll see in a bit, um, the Novica edits should pop up here. Actually, I think they won't do that in Novica. It's just Dmedia that does that. So that's something I need to fix. So I'm gonna, let's see, close this so I can get the project list. Now it's up there. Um, so now over here, if I open NovaCut and go into one of these test edits, and you'll see if I go into the same edit over here, um, changes get are getting synced back and forth. Um, I don't actually have the assets locally on the VM. That's why that crash report came up. But anyway, um, and you get similar sync. So I can go over here and say, move all that. Um, you'll get similar sync when using Demedia. And some of the sync things are a bit more complete in Demedia right now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. So let's see. For example, if I create a new project here, you'll see that it instantly shows up over here. Um, let's see, go ahead and get rid of that. So all this is over um, SSL, so the, the peering is very secure. Um, there's no password involved, which is very nice. And I guess the one other thing I will show you, oops, that's not what I wanted, is um, to get this to work, to, to be able to peer between a virtual machine and your physical host, you do need to look in your virtual box settings for network, and you need to choose bridged adapter. Um, and this is really handy for testing because not only will it allow VirtualBox to see the, the host, you also can see other devices on the same network. So sometimes I'll do tests with, um, you know, three devices, my workstation, a virtual machine, and then my netbook, and they can all sync t between each other, and it's very handy. So, all right, thanks for watching.